They give us an expression where x is equal to a to the b power and y is equal to c to the b, and they want to determine what is x times y. And from my experience, a lot of times students are going to want to come in and do something like this. So they have a to the b times c to the b, and what they want to do is combine the exponents to get 2b, which will give us an answer choice of g. But family, this is incorrect. And the reason why is due to our exponent rules. So think about this problem like this. We have 2 squared times 3 squared. If by the same logic or rules, what we're basically saying is that we could take 2 times 3 and then basically add our exponent powers. So we'll basically have 2 times 3 to the 4th. When we look at this, this is incorrect because we have different bases. But what we could do, and what the correct answer is, is we'll have 2 times 3, and then we'll take both of those to that exponent power. And when we simplify this one step further, we'll have the same expression. We'll apply the exponent to each individual base, and this is what we'd have. So this is the reason why the answer choice is going to be answer choice H. Please make sure you review your exponent rules and understand the difference in multiplying exponents when we have the same base versus a different base.